Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a flat lay in Foyer Neo. So here I am in 2D mode and the first thing that I'm going to do is create a room. And now we're going to head straight into 3D. So once we're in 3D mode, I'm just going to delete this away. And I'm going to start to apply uh, windows to this corner, some lighting on my ceiling, and some textures to my walls. I'm applying a dark color to the walls because I want the walls to not be super reflective and potentially overexpose my flat lay. So if you find that's happening, this might be a good fix for you. I'm going to apply this lighting over on the ceiling. I'm going to resize these windows to make them a bit bigger so that they let in more light. Okay, now I'm going to get this nice top down perspective of my space and I'm actually going to build my flat lay on the floor. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is apply a nice neutral color like this origami white to the floor and now I'm going to bring in shapes, different shapes like this floor docked cube into my space and different items into my space. I'm going to resize them, apply textures, and then I'm gonna bring in some nice elements like a faucet, uh, maybe some cloth. Um, so we'll walk you through that now. I'm also gonna use this wood paneled wall. Any items that don't dock to the floor, simply select them, Put them into free movement here, and then you can use free movement and the rotate button to rotate them onto the floor. Now I'm going to pull this cube over top of this little uh, tray that I've created and I'm going to resize it and I'm going to start to drag and drop multiple cubes and lay them on top of one another in an artistic way and apply different textures to them. So the reason that you want to lay them over top is because when we take the render, it's going to create really nice shadow as the light passes through those windows.
Now I'm going to start to apply my textures to all of these different shapes. Don't forget that you can always upload a custom texture to show your clients the exact materials that you'd like to use from, this, from a website. Now I'm going to add in some other elements like a faucet and some cloth. Now I'm going to get creative and I'm actually going to apply a fabric texture to this land covering because I like that the edges uh, reflect something that could look like a table runner or some kind of textile. Now I'm going to use this floor dock cylinder and resize it to apply some different textures.
Lastly, I'd like some greenery in here. So I'm gonna drag and drop this potted plant and then I'm gonna put it into free movement and I'm gonna bring it down below ground level to incorporate it into my mood board or my flat lay. Alrighty, so now looking at it from top down, I'm pretty happy with that. Now we're gonna head into render mode. In render mode, we're gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna bring my field of view all the way down and I'm gonna use my pan tool to center my space. And I'm gonna use my aspect ratio toggles on the left and on the bottom of the screen to crop out any areas that I don't want to show in my render. I can move my sun around to make sure that it's cascading nicely through these windows over top of my flat lay. I can also increase my interior lighting and I can change the filter over top. So maybe if I want a whiter, brighter light rather than natural daylight, I would switch it to fresh. Do always make sure to get a preview beforehand so you're not wasting any render credits. And let's see what this looks like as a render. I hope this was helpful for you guys today. Best of luck creating your flat lays and foyer neo. Bye-bye.